they said three or four months, maximum six months, and Russia will die of hunger. They say you will eat hedgehogs from your forests after three or four, maximum six months. They said at last disgusting Russia will cease to exist. They said, Russia is the third world country. Mm -hmm. Who are those they? Hmm? What do you think? Those who hate Russia and envy our endless resources and the smartest and the most talented professionals. Hi guys, my name is Marina and I have been living in Moscow for 22 years already. But this is the first time I'm here in this biggest, the most expensive and the most central market in Moscow. Its name is Danilovsky. And I don't, I don't want to tell you that I'm amazed. I'm really shocked. You know, I was born in Siberia. It's a place where bears walk along the street. But after 22 years of living in our capital, I have never been to this amazing, stunning and overwhelming place. Let's check it together with you. For me, this is very, very, very cool place. <laughs> I think, I think uh, this is how the exhibition of uh, of the achievements of national economy should look. <laughs> really, you can buy here everything from potato till caviar, lobsters, and uh, the most expensive cheeses. Uh, I don't know what to start with. Wow, hello. Of course, I don't have the illusion that I can buy here uh, something because you see, prices are really very, very high. But I see a lot of people buying different food and different goods. Wow. Have a look, just have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven kinds of, uh, of oysters, fresh oysters. I love it. But for me, just price 550 rubles for one is, is very expensive. <laughs> 300 rubles for one oyster uh, from, uh, I think, from Kamchatka region. Amazing, really fantastic choice of uh, fresh, fresh meat. Uh, oh, it attracts my attention for sure. Though I'm not a uh, meat eater, but uh, I asked the price. So uh, the most expensive price is veal. It's about 2,000 rubles for one kilo. And I remind you, my dear friends, that uh, today one dollar is about uh, 70 rubles, the rate of exchange. But a great deal, a great, great amount of different kind of meat. Hello! The, <laughs> the oldest butcher in market, I think. <gasps> I have a chance to, to see it. <laughs> Guys, I feel like I'm in Turkey now because it's, uh, 
it's the best um, season fruit for February in Turkey, pomegranate. But here you can buy it just uh, 500 rubles for kilo. Of course, expensive. But I mentioned before that this, this is the most expensive market uh, in Moscow and maybe in Russia. And fantastic variety of uh, fruit and uh, berries in February. And uh, it looks, uh, looks attractive. This strawberry and this blueberry and even even cherry it's not time for cherry but here you can buy everything and mango 2023 and my, my favorite avocado but let, uh, let's ask about prices а сколько стоит такая вот корзиночка с клубника i'm interested in prices really uh, it's about 20 dollars 22 dollars maybe for today's rate of exchange mm -hmm. спасибо thanks a lot oh my gosh smoked sturgeon the most expensive fish here in russia it's from kaspisko you see and of course of course um, black caviar you know that we eat black caviar and red caviar almost every day So, uh, sturgeon costs uh, six, about uh, $100 for kilo. Have a look. And crabs. Perfect crabs. Just me crab meat. I have no words. My mouth is watering and that's all. And here is tropical corner. Tropical bananas, 1,500 um, rubles for one kilo. And uh, in ordinary shops, I buy it for 70 rubles, for one dollar for one kilo. And here is 20, 22, 23 dollars for one kilo. That's the difference between ordinary shop and the best market in, <laughs> in Moscow, in Russia. mango from vietnam again 1500 rubles for kilo good price but not for me and would you like to know the age how old is this danilovsky market you're gonna be amazed that its age is 700 years it was founded near the monastery walls in 1278 just um It's paradox, but at the same date, um, the world famous market in Barcelona was founded. So maybe our Danilovsky Moscow market and Barcelona uh, market are brothers. Hmm? 1278. I can't imagine. Everything looks like from, from heaven, from paradise. Just Oh, tomatoes for 600 rubles. I bought it in um, in our market, ordinary market for 100 rubles. So yeah, six times more. It's it's good for this place for sure. And I remember the name of uh, Barcelona market, Bokeria. And I've been there for many many times, maybe eight, maybe maybe nine times. But here in Moscow, best market I'm for the first time. And um, this is a section of homemade. Um, homemade salads uh, from eggplants and from bell pepper and uh, different kinds of cucumbers and sauces and uh, and wonderful wonderful sunflower homemade oil gorgeous Russian cuisine it's really gorgeous guys you have to taste it all of you I have to come to Russia just to taste these um, pickles and these um, salted and semi-salted uh, cucumbers and, um, and uh, tomatoes and even watermelons. We eat salted watermelons, you know? And, and green, and green uh, tomatoes. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do with, <laughs> with my hunger because I'm not hunger, 
but uh, when I see it, so my mouth is watering more and more. Have a look at this design of of uh, salted cabbage. Looks great. I love Russian cuisine. And our neighbors are Greeks. I think so, or or Turkey. А это Греция или Турция? Оливки, оливки, а? Yes. All countries, Spain, Turkey and Greece, are asked the sellers. They are shy a little bit. Uh, they don't want to um, be in video. But um, I showed a video of wonderful food and prices, not of uh, sellers for sure. And you see different, different kinds of mushrooms because in our vast forest there are a great deal of different um, wonderful mushrooms. Oh my, oh my God, oh my God, I'm crazy. And here is the corner of our our friends, Tajikistan. Tajikistan was uh, the form is the former uh, Republic of Soviet Union, and they have such a bright section. Just have a look. I want to eat everything: dried uh, fruits, uh, fruit, and a lot of nuts and uh, and wonderful design, wonderful everything for kitchen for cooking in Tajikistan style and a lot of spices and um, as I remember rightly this market Danilovsky market was uh, the favorite place uh, for uh, uh, American presidents and even Nancy and Ronald Reagan uh, have visited this market and even Richard Nixon um, had a degustation of different Russian food maybe maybe these sausages Oh, oh my god. <sighs> baked, baked meat. Very just fresh meat. very fresh meat. Very Thank you so much. My are, you a fa are you a farmer? With farmer? Uh, wow, amazing. Great. <sighs> really, it's the most abundant and most impressive market I have ever seen in my life. If we are not speaking about uh, high prices, so just about abundance. So it looks, it looks really impressive and smells impressive. I want to try everything, but I can't, you know, that I keep diet. But all I do, I do for you. A little bit uh, cuisine from Caucasus mountains. They do different uh, sauces and pickle, pickled plum. You know, <laughs> amazing, amazing. And again, Russian cuisine and a mix of Russian and uh, Caucasian cuisines. Who can leave? Who can have a breakfast without fresh, fresh? bread and this is uh, bread from bakery and different uh, wonderful things pies for example cherry pie and um, and plum pie and uh, and different cakes looks wonderful of course price prices are biting biting oh, oh, 400 rubles <laughs> for cheesecake mango maracuya But you see, people bite and eat it all. It's um, lunch time now, and um, the second floor of this market is uh, uh, a food court. And uh, I'd like to. Wow! Oh my God! I've never seen such a uh, section of ice cream. Looks wonderful. Thanks God, I'm not hungry. I had a lunch today and it was a tomato soup. But if I didn't, I would eat it all. You see, plof, Uzbekistan dish, Uzbekistan cuisine, 400 rubles for one plate, 250 grams. Mm, for this place, I think it's good price. 
one of the mm, most <laughs> beloved dessert um, for lunchtime, Russian donuts. Full of fat, but very, very tasty. And have a look at this. Vietnam cuisine is very, very popular now in Moscow. And a lot of Moscovites come here to eat uh, noodles with uh, different fillings. It's really very tasty and healthy food, not junk food. And um, let's check the prices. So one dish is about, is about maybe seven or eight dollars. It's good for, for lunch, for sure. This building was reconstructed uh, by 2017 and later in a few minutes I will show you the building outside. It's also impressive, but uh, let's watch a little bit of delicacies. Maybe some of you think that we just, we have eaten the last hedgehog, but <laughs> we prefer to eat something something more delicious for example uh, smoked turkey or do you know what is this the breast of ducks also smoked of course it's a farm production it looks terrific and the smell is extraordinary the price of this um, duck is 2,500 rubles for one kilo and the price for turkey uh, for homemade smoked choc turkey is 1,600 rubles um, da -da -da -da. this is a section of delicacies what are this it's from Spain no mm. Different kinds, different varieties of meat and fat. And um, can I try a little bit? You know, I like to try everything. Mm, it's dry meat, dry beef. Mm, very tasty. Also homemade. This is the, the price is um, about maybe seventy dollars for kilo, and less, of course, less. Everything looks perfect. Очень красиво у вас все выглядит. If you ask me about bears meat, no, we don't eat bears. Bears are our friends, but uh, you can find here in this market uh, deer meat. You see? Sausages from, from deer. Oh dear, dear, dear. And its price is uh, 4,500 rubles for one kilo. But maybe somebody likes it. Uh, I'm coming back home, crying. Uh, it's a uh, smoked pork. Yes, a seller says it's it's just something amazing, and you <laughs> and its price is only only twenty dollars. I think it's good price for farm production. Of course, three thousand, four thousand is too much, but one one thousand five hundred is good price. I just show you people buying everything, Russian people. A lot of customers. Despite of cold weather and a snowstorm. Write down in comments, my dear viewers, what would you buy here? Maybe this fat duck for 800 rubles, one kilo. Good prices. And uh, the price for goose is also 800 rubles. And I think these uh, hens, these chickens uh, ate corn. 
there. Yellow, yellow. Yeah, and home chickens, 500 rubles. Of course, I buy it for 300 rubles in, in uh, grocery stores, but uh, this is the best market. And that's all. And do you remember the prices for eggs in Russia? It's about 80 rubles, 70 rubles, but here is 500. As for me, I, I would eat it all and I would leave no, no crumbs. Oh my God. I promised you to show this fashionable building of Danilovsky Market. Uh, just it's it's very beautiful and it suits to surroundings. Of course, of course, this image, this design is different, not like it was in 13th century. Okay, guys, that was only small, small part of this vast market, and um, I confirmed the information. This is the best one I have ever seen. It's true. And you have to visit this place. It's full of outstanding things and food from all over the world, but especially from our beloved and uh, huge country, Russia. Um, I have one life hack for you, my dear foreign viewers. It's better to be a friend with Russia. Hmm? And here is the link to my videos about the best markets, not in Moscow, but in different, different cities of Russia.